Canada is approved by and Europe is approved by not yet in the US. They're having trouble hearing you, and would you explain why that is so people here that don't know right. about the FDA? We, yeah, we, we submitted three of our devices for FDA clearance several a few years ago, and we were afraid that the company did that if they rejected it and <coughs> had to stop selling the products altogether. So we did not submit all of our devices. And so the ones we did submit in nine months and many thousands of dollars we got approved. Uh, the rest of them we left them in a category where as long as we don't make a medical claim, we can legally sell them as therapeutic massage devices. And then we had some that we put in a category that we exempt from approval called biofeedback devices. A biofeedback says that they have to be sold only under a prescription or to a medical profession. But the therapeutic massage devices can be sold anyway. So the strongest claims we can make about the therapeutic massage devices are relief of discomfort, the therapeutic massage make you feel better, but you know, feeling better is not a medical term. So that that's, limits our frequency for those things. Uh, we did subsequently submit those devices in Europe for all the claims were approved for submission in the state of Canada. So sometimes it makes a rule to fly here in the US and the rest of them get approved too. But when we do that, we want to get them approved when we sell them over the counter without restrictions. So it fit your business model better. And we have a lot of these attachments that also go with each one of these devices. We'll accept any of these attachments that you see up here. with Rory in, in cosmetology. Uh, we have, we'll, we'll be receiving this manual. And uh, we will be making it available, I believe. I think we just have to iron out the price and, uh, on, on where, and how much you will be paying for it, and so on and so forth. Is that right, Chuck? Yeah. We have to do a the pricing of the manual like that is not simple because we haven't printed 10,000 of them. So it's pretty expensive to produce just one at the level of our production right now. And so um, but the information is invaluable, it's priceless. Because every, it's in uh, color, and there's a lot of pictures and graphics. You know, if you go down to Staples, it costs 50 cents a <laughs> page. To print it off and cut it, you're only doing one. But if you go to Staples and ask them to print maybe 10,000, they may drop the price again. And if you get 100,000 and you go to China and have them do it for you. <laughs> so and the, the variables are extraordinary. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see what price we come up with. Question and answers now? Yes, question and answers. Which machines are covered under prescription and what kind of insurance will cover that portion of the product? I get 10 to answer that one in the States. The uh, prescription only devices through home wellness are the Best Pro 1, Best RSI, and the Pro Sport. The Pro Sport is just a biofeedback device and insurance will not pay for it, so it's cash only. Uh, the Best Pro 1, is one that, uh, well, and the RSI is one that both Medicare and private insurance will contribute towards the cost. Medicare and Medicaid, or just Medicare? Medicare and private insurance. I do not know about Medicaid. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not up on those words. I do know, know that work probably pays for it, and I know that actually insurance requires pay for it. 
but the the uh, we recommend if you're going to bottle your shrimp, you bottle it yourself. If the end, the uh, Medicare people will do everything in the world to avoid responding to your pain. If you're stubborn enough, you can make them do it. How would one go about getting a prescription? Oh, you, you would. Uh, Download a prescription form, jump into the prescription. We have one with some instructions, so I have some people can do it themselves actually. It's, you can download the form on the phone numbers and take it to your doctor and you just fill it out and sign it. So now, you have to get a doctor that will approve Correct. We're finding very few doctors refuse to sign it. But in some states, for instance, in chiropractors can not write prescriptions, in other states, they can write prescriptions. I don't know. Dr. Bruce, can you write prescriptions for this patient? I don't know. Okay. We'll find out. Yeah. Are you okay? Well, Texas, Texas chiropractors can write prescriptions. New York, I think they can. New Jersey, they can. Uh, vice versa. So I know it's in Washington State, they're not even allowed to use tennis boxes. So it's kind of weird. We're so often. Every state's a little different. But uh, Medicare. We had quite a few processes in Medicare, and they require the patient pay a copay and then they pay uh, about another 300 and something dollars, and the rest has to be cash. And how much is the best pro machine versus like the blue? Okay, blue is, is uh, the low one, is $500, it's a general device, and it's not covered by insurance. The best pro one is is it's around is it nine fifty. It's either I think it's nine ninety five. We're throwing in a uh, fifty dollar tip. Right, nine ninety five. So Medicare. Medicare will pay up to like four hundred of that, and private insurance will depend entirely on the insurance company. Some companies will refuse. Some companies will pay three or four hundred dollars, and some companies will pay all nine hundred dollars. Nora, you have that experience. How much did your insurance in Denver cover? Not bad. Oh, okay. Sorry. Any other questions? Questions for Dr. Hashay or two? Come on. <laughs> you made it for that year. Has the machine been able to help rebuild brain function, like Alzheimer's brain injury? Infection of brain. Yeah. It does it help reading brain function, like an Alzheimer's yeah. brain injury? We're pretty well clear. You know, there's a lot. I mean, I'm here in New York City. If I were up in Canada, I'd be able to, to give you different answers. You can tell by that Tonight, <laughs> just in case you wonder, tonight we have a boat cruise. Once we get out at sea, we can speak with that FDA regulation. So we'll be able to ask questions that we can't ask in this room uh, because of where we live. But if you want to ask questions that can be answered now, please go ahead and ask Dr. Hesheik. 